Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good afternoon, my dear students. I'm your teacher Olga from AUS Academy Schools, and my today's lesson is a part of AUS Academy program for online education. And today we will make some grammar exercises with you. Please open your student's book on the page 63. We will work with exercise number one, language development. Complete this passage with the correct comparative or superlative form of the adjectives in brackets. Okay, the first sentence. Sam Spade and Philip Marlowe are, you have the space, and you have adjective famous, you must put it into the correct form. Do you have them here? No, you don't have them. So you don't compare between two things or two persons. It means that you must use superlative here. Famous, you must put it into the superlative form. Okay, the next sentence. Spade is not wise and not intelligent than Merlo. You have then here. So you compare between two persons. What will you use? You will use comparative here. You will put not wise into the comparative form and not intelligent into the comparative form. Now the next sentence. Merlot is the space popular than spade. We have then here. It means that we must use comparative. You have popular, put it into the comparative form. Popular, is it long or short word? Think, please, it is long. So, what will be the comparative form of popular? He is also a, the space, good man than Sam Spade. We have then. It means that we must make here comparative form of good. Now, good, is it a regular adjective or is it an irregular think and put it into the correct form and the last sentence Merlot enjoys chess and poetry and he is the space kind than spade we have then here so will we use superlative or comparative comparative of course we will use comparative and kind is it a long adjective or is it a short adjective it is short adjective. So think what will you do with this adjective. Now another exercise on the same page. Exercise number three. In this exercise you should use the following verbs in sentences about things you did yesterday. So you must use past simple okay you must put these verbs into the past simple form and these verbs are irregular verbs okay so you must put them into the correct form and make correct sentences using uh, the word yesterday now b what will be uh, the past simple form of b was or where now by what is the past simple form of by bought by bought okay now do what is the past simple form of do do did forget forgot give gave meet met read Red, run, run, see, saw, think, thought, write, wrote. Now, how will you make the sentences? You have an example here with the word forget. Okay, forget. I forgot to turn off my computer yesterday 
This is an example. And you must do the same sentences with another verbs and don't forget to put them into the correct form. Now, another exercise, exercise number six. In this exercise, you must put the words into the correct order. We have mixed words here, but we must order them, okay? And let's uh, do the first sentence. Let's make the first sentence together. Uh, first of all, of course, we will put the subject. And we will try with uh, Holmes. Holmes will be our subject, okay? Then uh, we need a verb. Uh, our verb here is looked, okay? Looked like, Holmes looked like. Now we need a complement, okay? Holmes looked like a detective, okay? Then we will put but, but, and we need another subject, but Miss Marple, Miss Marple is another subject, and subject always needs the verb. Uh, the second verb here is didn't. So our sentence is Holmes looked like a detective but Miss Marple didn't. Now you should use the right adjective for this sentence from the exercise number seven. And what is the right adjective? It is professional okay Holmes looked like a detective so it means that he was professional now the second the third the fourth and the fifth sentence you should do by yourselves and you should choose the right adjectives uh, from the exercise number seven by yourselves now, my dear students, please open your activity books on the page 52. And we will work with exercise number one. Uh, in this exercise, uh, you will learn how to write the dates in the correct way. So, we have two ways of writing the dates. Okay, we have a British rule and we have an American rule, okay? In British English, we usually write the date before the month or we write the day before the month. For example, uh, the 31st of January, okay? And then year, okay? In American English, we usually write month and then we write the date or day. First of all, we say January 31st, okay? And there are also another ways using just uh, numbers. We use just numbers. We don't say January, we don't write January, February, March. Uh, we just write numbers and even using numbers uh, the British the British uh, model uh, we write uh, first of all the date then the month in American first of all month and then the date and now let's uh, let's fill the table I will show you how to fill the table in the correct way and then you will continue by yourselves. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope you will be able to do these exercises by yourself uh, and uh, may Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.